Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Simply Duo, and today I will be showing you how to solve the white cross on the Rubik's Cube. But before I show you how to solve the white cross, make sure you watch the videos before this in the How to Solve a Rubik's Cube Beginner Methods playlist, because there are some things you need to know to understand in this video. Anyways, with that all aside, let's get started. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your cube go from this to this. So this here is the white cross. So the first real step to solving your Rubik's Cube is doing the white cross. The first step to solving the white cross is to find all of the white edges. If you don't know what edges are, click the video on the top right corner or click the link in the description to our pieces on the cube video. Make sure that the white center face is facing up when you start solving the white cross. So turn the cube around like this and find the first white edge that you see. Here, I see one here. But there are five different places that an edge can actually be in. So here are all the five different places and I'll tell you what they're called. So there's this place right here. So this is the centerpiece where we're gonna be solving all the white edges around. And here is the first white edge that we see. This is a middle layer edge because it's in the middle layer here and we're gonna need it to get it up here. So this is the first situation that it could be in the middle layer. And then down here is the bottom layer where it can be in because it's in the bottom layer but facing this way so we need to get this up here and that's the second one that it could be in here is the third situation that it can be in and if we flip the cube around you can see that the white edge piece is right here uh, on the yellow face and we need to turn it around exactly opposite to get it to the white face the fourth situation is right here the top face one where it's right here so basically next to the white center piece. So we need to get this from here to here, and that is the fourth situation. Last but not least, we can see here uh, where the last situation is where the edge is already up here onto the cube. So with these edges around here on the five different situations, there are five different ways to solve them. So the first one is up here. When the cube is up here already solved on the white face, uh, you have to look at the edge, so here's the edge right here, and you have to look on the side where the edge is, so this is the white red edge. And as you can see here, the red edge and the blue centerpiece are right next to each other. This is incorrect. If your white edge piece is on the top next to the white centerpiece, then what you have to do is you have to look around the cube, you can see that it's not connected to the right color. This this one right here has to be red, so that this one and this one are connected at the same color. So what you have to do is you have to look around the cube, and right here we can see the red one. So now you have to get this white one here to match with the red one here. By doing that, we can easily do a U. If you guys don't know what a U is, then you need to go to our notations video, which is also another video in the Rubik's Cube Beginner's Method playlist. After you watch that, then you will know what all of these moves are. So once we do a U here, we can see that this is now solved, and that is already one out of your four edge pieces solved. So next, after we solve this edge right here, so the white and red, as you can see, it's connected. So next after that, we have to solve, well, the next one that we see is this middle layer edge right here. So the white and blue one is next to the red centerpiece and the green centerpiece. So what everyone would think to do is to just easily, you can just do an L prime, so to make it go up there, and just do a U2 to rotate it twice. So now it's marked here, the colors are the same, and the white edge is right here. So that would be the normal situation, but the thing is, if we look over here at our white red one, now it's at the orange centerpiece, and that has been messed up, and we cannot mess that up. We cannot have that messed up, which means that we have to put it back here and up here. So this is the situation before. So the next question is, how do we make this this white blue piece go over, all the way over here without messing this up? This is where things get a little bit complicated. So to do this, uh, what we have to do is we have to see if we do uh, an L prime like that, where is the white piece going into it's going into this green this green centerpiece right here so if we do an l prime it connects with the green one so what we have to do is now we have to find the centerpiece that we want the piece to go in which is right here the blue one 
and then we have to see the blue one above it. So this is where we want the uh, white piece to be. White here, blue here, and then here's the blue center piece. So we if we want it to be right here in this spot, what we have to do is we have to do a U2. So it's over here. We have to turn it around to now where this white blue piece, we, we can do a L prime to make it go right here. So this is where it's supposed to be. So that means that if we do a U2, we can put this right here inside of it, like that. So now that it's inside uh, of where it's supposed to be, we can just do a U2 back. And now it's solved here. And it's also solved here. So we did not mess the white red up. And we got the white blue in. So next we can see a, uh, it looks like a bottom layer situation, a uh, white centerpiece on the top, the bottom here. So we have an orange piece on the bottom. The bottom layer and the upper layer are one of the most hard situations to do. So to do this bottom layer, it's an orange uh, white one, but it's on the red centerpiece. So what we have to do here is we have to turn the white orange, do a D2, Around, so now it matches where it's supposed to be. So see the orange is here and the orange is here. So what you want to do, if it's, if it's over here, you have to turn it so that it matches here. Next, you want to hold the cube so that it's uh, white's facing up and you're facing the orange centerpiece. So now we can do uh, an algorithm to put it up into the white layer where it's supposed to be. Hold it so that it's facing you, make sure the white's on top, and then F U. L prime, U prime. And now you can see it's in the white face and connected with the orange and all the other ones that we did before are messed up. Now we have a middle layer right here as the very last edge. And we already know how to do a middle layer, but I'm going to show you guys again. So as you can see, the white, the white green piece here is matching to the orange and it's going into uh, this piece right here. We obviously can't just do a uh, F and rotate it or else it'll mess up all the other pieces. So instead, what we have to do is we have to find the place where it's supposed to go, which is this piece. And uh, it mark it's next to the green face. And what we have to do is we have to rotate it here and then we can put the green piece in there and rotate it back. So now we have the white cross solved. I am going to do another example, just so that we can get every single situation. Remember, there are five situations. Okay, so now here we have another example. So as normal, we have the white the white uh, centerpiece facing up, and now we have to look around the cube. Oh, and here we see a white centerpiece. Uh, it looks to be a, an upper layer, which we have not done yet. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do an upper layer. So as you can see, it's next to the orange one, the white's here and the green's here. We need to get it up here. So to do that, we have to do a U prime. So a U prime. And as you can see now, it's, uh, here's the green and here's the green. So just like the bottom layer one, we have to match up these two greens. And then next we can do an algorithm. This algorithm is very similar to the bottom layer one. There is only one move that is different. On the bottom layer one here, we did an F, a U, an L prime, and a U prime. But instead, for the upper layer algorithm, we're going to do an F prime, a U, an L prime, and a U prime. So this is the exact same thing as the bottom layer one, but instead of doing an F, as you can see, we do an F prime, and then we do the algorithm. And that solves that the upper layer situation. So next we look around the cube and we can see that there is a white piece facing up uh, on the yellow center piece. This is the other one that we have not looked at. It is the opposite. Uh, when, the, when the white face is opposite than where it's supposed to be. This situation is actually very easy to solve. So first what you have to do is you have to turn uh, this face up here so uh, we can turn it around so flip your cube over first of all because uh, it's on here it's on the white face you want to flip it over so you can see everything that's up here on the yellow face 
And then what you want to do is you want to turn this piece, this white piece, this white edge piece, until it matches up the correct uh, color on the center piece here. So if we just do a U prime here, we can see that it has been matched up. The red color has been matched up here. And once you do that, it's very simple. And all you have to do is an F2, and then you solve it into this layer, into the white face. So now let's move on to the other ones. So as we can see right here, there is a middle layer edge here. So now we can solve that. We already know how to solve the middle layer edge. So as you can see, remember, we have to try to get it here. So we have to swap out this here. And then we have to do an F prime to get the piece that we need into there. And then do a U to bring it back. We have another middle layer one, but as you can see, it is already matching the color. So all we have to do is an R. And that solves the white cross. Here is one more example just to make sure that we have the white cross down. So we have the centerpiece, the centerpiece facing up, and we already immediately see a white piece right here. The white piece is right next to the green piece, and we don't want that. So we look around the cube, and here it is, the piece that we need to match it up with. So we can do an easy U prime, and that matches up the colors here and the white face. Next, let's look around our cube, and we see a bottom layer situation. So remember, what we have to do is we can see that it's blue here and white here, so we have to match it up to the blue, to the blue centerpiece. So there's blue, there's blue. And then we can do our simple algorithm to get it up here. F, U, L prime, U prime. And that will get it up into here without messing up this one. Next, we see another bottom layer one uh, is green this time. So remember, uh, it's on the blue here, so we have to get it and make sure that it gets to the green because this is green right here. So we can do a D2, and now it's matching up with the green and the green. And now we can do our algorithm again. F, U, L prime, U prime. And now that's all solved. Uh, last one we see is right here. It's on the opposite side. So remember, we have to match up these two so that they're the same color. So we can do a D, and now these two are matched up. And then we can easily do an F prime to solve that layer. So if this video helped you guys to solve the white cross, as you can see, then make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I will be doing the rest of the videos for the beginning tutorial. So make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can stay tuned and learn how to solve the full Rubik's Cube. Also, at the end of this series, every single video will all be squashed into one so that we can make just one full video of the whole thing of how to solve a Rubik's Cube using the beginner's method. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure to keep following Simply Duo so that you can learn new stuff. This is Ryan, and I'll see you guys next time.